Gene Carey here with the Freehands Academy. Today is Friday, um, the 13th, April, and uh, 2018. Um, what do I have for you today? Well, uh, just a quick session. I'm going to start my timer here so that we can keep ourselves on time. Um, we'll talk a little bit about posture. We'll do um, a Freehands Friday and kind of get some feedback. I'd like to start that discussion. Um, Conrad, um, my friend down south in Australia, had mentioned something about having 20 years left of playing, and it's a very practical way of approaching it. Um, but uh, I think he's got more than that. And um, But it is something to consider. You do want to make sure that you're observing some basics with regards to your posture, the position of your back, the position of your knees, if you're playing in a sitting position, if you're standing, how high the stick is, and especially, especially, especially that left wrist. Make sure that you're not hooking it over like that. You want to have a nice release. And uh, teachers haven't told me, uh, both Greg and Steve, keep those elbows up. Right? So more on that later. Um, Let's see, yeah, we talked about stick events, we talked a little bit about posture. Oh, stickest of the week, Rob Gellner. So I started this the other day, I thought, you know, wouldn't it be kind of fun to have like a, a stickest of the week, you know, and um, Rob Gellner would have to be it. Um, Rob is a Canadian player. Um, I'm pretty sure he's playing music full time, plays keyboards and plays trumpet, and he's part of an eight-piece band. And uh, boy, they let him off the chain for one song with the stick, and it was a, a cover. It was Sting's Fragile, and boy, it just sounds great. I don't have a link to it. I'm sure you can find it. Rob Gellner, and he did. He got such a great sound. He was playing with the guitarist and with the bassist. Complimented the whole operation so well, and. Um, and sounded great. He's um, he's actually kind of one of the people that turned me on to the K-Mix and just kind of pulled the trigger on it. And uh, I've also recently done that. So I've recently acquired a K-Mix, talking to Rob Hainer about that. So um, who you may know as Rob Safari at some point. Uh, we'll drag him into the mix, quite literally. And we'll talk about uh, the K-Mix, which is a really nice addition to your pedal board or uh, to your small studio, whether it be a live performance. It's also an analog to digital converter, so a very powerful tool. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, we're into about the second or the third month since the release of the 12-string um, railboard, which is great. Um, or, uh, a few months prior to that, we'd seen the 8-string railboard, which is also pretty cool. And um, I think that's about as much as I have to cover that's not actually playing Bach. So uh, that being said, let's get into uh, part three of learning uh, Bach's invention number one in C major. So I'll show you what we've got up until now, and I'll include the part that we're going to learn. So um, this will be measures one through six, as I'm aware. Oh, let me back up a sec here. So I am playing a 10 string uh, graphite with a passive four. Uh, I've got it pushed up onto the bridge position to get a, a brighter sound simply because I'm going straight into the board here. Um, I am using a, a Hall of Fame reverb here, just running two channels in and two channels out into a K12. Um, and uh, I think that's about as much as uh, I've got to share on the setup. So um, this is, uh, yeah, we'll play measures one through six here. subpar. Let's try it again. Together now. play just the right hand. So the part that we're learning today is what are we learning today? Um, We 
We've got about nine minutes to do it. So let's just go ahead and do uh, the remaining four measures uh, in this piece. So we'll move pretty quickly. I'm going to play the right hand. And uh, this part of the piece really gets, uh, you get to do a workout in the left hand. We're going to be moving to the key of, I believe, D minor for this next section. Um, we're going to start here. So he's outlining a five. which is a, a D7, so, so he's playing, and the right hand, and then, so he's playing this uh, D into an A. final time in the right hand. A, D, C, D, and then you really want to be ready for that position change there, so it's almost better to play it. See what I did there? So, A, D, C, D, B, A, G, F sharp, E, G, F sharp, A, G, B, A, C, B, D, C, E, D. And then we're going to do a B, C, D, kind of a poggiatura here. Which is just, if you're in the key of G, third, fourth, fifth, root. So... So we've got that. Let's hear it one last time. All right, now let's do the left hand. The left hand um, <clears throat> gets busy. So he's playing. to start. So you're just doing kind of a D major pentatonic. And then we go to G, which is really kind of what it sounds like he's playing in the key of. And this is going G, B, C, D, B, F sharp, G, Five of the five. Right? Feels like the root. So he kind of pulls the wool over our eyes there. So we're looking at the bass hand. Rest. So let's look at that one more time. In the bass hand, starting measure five. Right? 
So let's do the left hand one more time with the right hand. Well, actually, we'll, just, we'll stay on the left hand. So maybe what I'll do is, is I'll play what we've got up until now. Okay, so let's do a quick review, and then we'll put the hands together. We'll listen to what we want it to sound like. <laughs> ideally, right? Ideally, we'll listen to what we want it to sound like. Ideally. And, uh, and then we'll play the left hand um, one more time. I'm playing that wrong. back to this, but uh, let's do the best we can here. <laughs> together on the D there, which is nice. It kind of prepares you, right? And the D is really the what? The 5 of G. And the G is really the 5 of what? C. So you see what he's doing here? Okay, one more time. Okay, so we'll put those together. This is really one of the most gratifying parts of the piece, um, for me, anyways. Okay. So we'll play that one more time through. We've got about uh, another minute and a half to do it, and uh, I think we can do it. I'm not liking my tuning right now. good enough for this week. So we've got, what have we got? We've got in the left hand here, we've got um, this. Right? Easy. And then in the right hand we have. Let's do it here. And switch positions there. So. Play that enough times now that you should be able to play too. Okay, so uh, listen, have a great weekend. I'm looking forward to um, a nice time. I'm finally going to see Black Panther. Um, long overdue, and uh, 
And I uh, hope that you get some time to play music this weekend and that you have a great weekend. You deserve it. All right. Happy Free Hands Friday. Bye now.